Sure seems like there are a lot of rules nowadays, doesn't it? Authorities telling us who can eat where based on whether or not you're carrying your papers, kids forced to wear masks in schools, people losing their jobs because they refuse to comply with authoritarian mandates. A lot of people seem pretty eager, even happy, to comply. Does that ever just feel off to you? How far would you go to follow orders? How much would you compromise of your own free will? Would you sacrifice what you knew was right? Ignore your principles, your instinct, your heart and gut? What if someone in a position of authority demanded that you do something that you knew in your heart was wrong? Something based on a lie masquerading as fact simply because they said it was a fact. Throughout history, people just following orders have done a lot of terrible, unconsciousable things. Nazi officers sent millions of Jews to their deaths during World War II. Secret police totalitarian regimes around the world have kidnapped and tortured children. Entire populations have been imprisoned and exterminated, all by people just following orders. It's easy to say, well, I wouldn't do that. I would resist. But would you? Would you disobey a morally unjust order, even if it meant personal sacrifice? In a famous study of obedience known as the Milgram Experiment, ordinary people were willing to inflict even extreme harm on another human being, administering what they thought were electric shocks of increasing severity simply because they were told to do so by someone projecting a symbol of authority, a researcher wearing a lab coat. In the experiment, the subjects were told they were participating in an educational study and that they were to administer the shocks to a fellow participant each time an incorrect answer was given on a memory test. In reality, no one was getting shocked. It was a ruse. The other participant was also a researcher instructed to often answer incorrectly but this was unknown to the subject. As the number of incorrect answers rose, so did the severity of the shocks. An astonishing 65% of subjects obeyed authority, progressing farther and farther up the electrical dial all the way to the highest level, simply because the lab coat wearing researcher insisted on it. The experiment's designer, Stanley Milgram, a Yale psychologist concluded, when authority was pitted against the subject's strongest moral imperatives against hurting others, and with the subject's ears ringing with the screams of the victims, authority won more often than not. The extreme willingness of people to go to almost any lengths on the command of an authority constitutes the chief finding of the study. What's all this mean for us? Well, ask yourself, who's wearing the lab coats today? And who are the subjects in this study of blind obedience? Politicians and those appointed by them go to great lengths to demand we submit to their authority, to bristle with indignation when caught in lies, and to demand we follow orders or else. In this real world study of obedience, mask mandates, masked children, vax mandates, and enforced segregation imposed by those in real or figurative lab coats are the new shock treatment. And they're studying us to see how far they can go and how long we'll obey. 18th century statesman Edmund Burke said, the only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. Tyranny progresses slowly, inch by inch, edict by edict, mandate by mandate, each one chipping away at liberty and freedom until nothing of what we formerly took for granted remains. Philosopher Ramdas tells us that you can't get out of a jail you don't know you're in. It's time to see that the jail of compliance and obedience we're being led to believe is normal and just is neither. Our willingness to disobey authorities when it makes moral sense to do so, to stay true to our sense of right and wrong, is the most powerful weapon we have. Martin Luther King Jr. said, one has a moral responsibility to disobey unjust laws. Gandhi tells us, civil disobedience is a sacred duty 
when the state becomes lawless or corrupt. It's our moral responsibility and sacred duty to disobey and to do so now. While we may be appalled that 65% of the subjects in the Milgram experiment blindly obeyed authority, we can be encouraged that 35% did not. They exercised defiance in the name of doing what was right. But here's the best part about the experiment that you'll want to know. When a subject refused to obey and others witnessed it, the willingness of those others to continue administering the shocks plummeted from 65% to just 10%. What does this prove? Courage is contagious. When you stay true to your heart and disobey what you know is wrong, it strongly empowers others to do the same. When we exercise our courage and bravery, we can take others along with us. Or we can stand by and do nothing and just obey. When the dust settles, which side of history do you want to be on? The side of obedience or the side of courage? The choice is yours.